Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today I would like to continue talking about your contacts with astral beings and focus on another aspect of the matter, namely to show you the wide range of people they can touch, even indirectly. Let us take the following obvious example to make it easier to understand. A good, pure person, an ancient soul who has come to earth with a certain mission to help people at the turning point of their planet's transition to the fifth dimension. The communication channeler of the higher powers of the universe. This person channels information that people need and that can encourage them to move towards the light towards ascension. Realizing that knowledge belongs to everyone, the channeler opens a website that attracts pure souls like moonlight attracts moths. At first, all goes well. The message gives high frequency vibrations and knowledge that people really need. The readers thank the channeler from the bottom of their hearts for the messages and the service. Step by step, countless responses of gratitude overflow the site and becomes a powerful flow. The person who transmits the messages becomes an idol for hundreds and in some cases thousands of people. The transmitter often gets involved in the exchange of comments by thanking the readers for their kind words, answering their questions and sharing his or her experience and point of view. He or she therefore brings their own thoughts, feelings, emotions and interpretation of the messages transmitted. At first glance, it all looks nice and decent. As the energy space of the website is filled with praises sung by readers and site creators congratulating each other. What about the dark side of this bright picture, the energetic truth? It includes the unseen and difficult work of the mid and lower level astral beings. Do you remember dear ones how the descent of humanity began? How did the dragon manage to put humanity back on the right path, making it forget its divine origin? Flattering was the only cause. It was through flattery that they managed to turn human gods into people of the duality world. It was the virus of flattery that first affected your consciousness giving rise to other negative energies typical of the world of duality. Thus, this virus of flattery that penetrates the once pure divine website begins its devastating action and fills the space of the website with quite different energies. The creators, with that of the enormous energy of pride, and the readers with that of depersonalization, typical of people who tend to idolize someone. Just imagine the vast sphere of activity it provides for astral beings of all kinds and the destructive energy of low frequency vibrations it imparts to the energetic space of the site. But today, people are unable to feel it because their descent has been gradual without them noticing and they are absolutely sure that they are moving towards the light when in reality they have been moving in the opposite direction for a long time. And in my next message, I will tell you how to find your way out of this complicated situation and more importantly, how to realize that this is happening to you. We will stop here for today. The Absolute Father who loves you beyond measure has spoken to you. This message was channeled by Marta and it was read for you by Adriana.